Hello there, everybody. It is me, No Name Moment Seven Spore, back with We Don't Have Any Money Simulator Three as France. It is currently July of 1953, and we don't have any money. Um, yes. Current situation: building two fleet carriers in Mistral and Tanner, as well as a bunch of destroyers. I've also now been informed that I've probably not designed Tanner that well probably don't need this much flight deck armor and could have invested that and I could have invested that in other stuff so it's tough to know for future you know fleet carrier designs which I will probably have to adjust um Mistral's probably actually a little bit more optimized but still I don't know if that that's the right amount of flight deck armor but yeah I lack money and if we were checking the almanac last time um we got good tech Germany has the most apparently Oh, everyone else is very... Uh, U.S. is very advanced. Germany or America has the most Britons behind. But in terms of naval budget, we're actually kind of low compared to everyone else, which is not great right now. Um, and I need more destroyers. I need more sub... You know, maybe not submarines, but, like, submarine hunters, especially more modernized ones. Um, given that in 1956, like, all my current units are going to take half or, like, a half penalty on sinking subs and... Uh, won't be great but um it's uh very very difficult to get that you know going when i don't have the funding to do it and need to modernize my navy <sighs> i'm also hoping that this will be a little bit of a quicker episode hey, come on ignore but man i need to get some money back from somewhere I cannot handle this budget. Okay, we've got an event. Need to see it. Um, I'll take the slight tension. Early surface-to-air missiles. There we finally go. That's a good tech. We did have a guy leave the service. Some guys get promoted. Hold on. Detention with Germany increase. Germany's increased the naval budget again. Can we increase our naval budget for once? Please. We'll have the alliance with America, which is good. I'm not liking these tensions with these high tensions with Germany. Okay, this is an above average aviator. I'm not sure I want to put him in charge of that division. So, in charge of the carrier division, let me get an. How about this? I get the above average damage control expert in charge of second carrier, and then second carrier gets the above average aviator. Uh, battleship devastation also needs a new command. Um, I have a brilliant on Corbet. A brilliant on Sirocco. I'm going to take the brilliant from uh, Carrier Sirocco. That would be... Uh, down here. That's a food very class. Actually, one of the better carriers. Um, we have an average... Do we have any three good above averages? I have one in Algerie. Yeah, I'll take the one from Algerie then. Then you can get an average. You, you can get an unknown. And then Algerie. God, I guess you can get an average. Um, one of the destroyer divs. Fifth destroyer, you need a new commander. I will, um, allow a captain de vaisseau on you. Okay, I wanted to check base over, or coastal fortifications. Um, 
can I reserve like all of the air bases? Just save on some funds. Might just. It might just be enough. But God, I need money. I need money so badly. Give me money. <laughs> Give me a budget boost. We have high tensions with Germany. Integrated radar reduction. Okay, awesome. Problems of ASW helicopters. Okay, cool. We're working on that. Okay, there we go. Tensions with Germany is reducing. I was kind of expecting that to happen. Oh my god, we got budget! Where the hell did that come from? Uh, go to low spying. Where did we suddenly get budget from? Did something happen? Okay, so some guys got promoted. Let me uh, fill that in. Third battle cruiser needs a new commander. You have an above average um, available. Ship wise. Uh, one of our cruisers needs a new commander. There we go. But oh my god, there's money! I can refit something that needs a rebuild for once. <clears throat> so I think priority right now is with the Penleve class carriers. The, uh, modernization of these. Um, and the reason I say that over other ships is I'm waiting on uh, proper helicopter tech with the other ships. Okay, so I want to stay oil, oil turbine on these. Um, upgrade to quality 2. Be nice to get auto loading guns. We are going to have to go jet capable, angled flight deck. Uh, up the radar limit. Actually, we'll work on that later. Let me get this down. A reasonable level. 56 planes. What we're currently looking at. The heavy anti-aircraft factor of 56 versus mm, it's 56 either way. That gets us one more plane. If I actually go down to like normal accommodation, um. We can get another plane. Although, no. Um, let's stay at this. Is that not legal? Oh, hold on. Too many guns. Dangerously top-heavy. That's the problem right now. Let's just check this. Okay, so that is legal. Hmm. How many loads would I want on the missile tube on the SAM launcher? Is that something where I really want 20 reloads? Or do I want less? God damn, that's a lot of weight. Let's get less medium anti-aircraft. Um, maybe I remove two turrets?
I mean, heavy anti-aircraft is probably becoming less and less of a factor right now. So, I may consider removing two of the three-inch turrets, like H and I, if I can get an additional missile tube, um, like A. Why is Y more expensive? If I do W... Okay, no, apparently having the system is more expensive. Uh, okay. Edit reloads. That didn't decrease topside load at all? No, it doesn't. Um, yeah, let's get rid of, like, two more of these then. Oh god. Hmm. How do I get top side capacity load? Like nope, that doesn't change it. But yeah, it doesn't seem like the missile tubes affect too much. Okay, yeah, let's yeah, let's drop F and G then. It doesn't even do it. Um I do. I want. Do I want two missile tubes to defend the carriers? Or do I just want one? You know, what? it's so difficult to get two missiles on these things. I'm gonna cancel that. I'm gonna restart it. So same speed. Yeah, same propulsion. Um. Jet capable, angled flight deck, drop the planes once again to 56. We're going to add a single medium SAM forward, 20 missiles, increase the radar tech to level 6, uh, increase ammunition, drop down to the 3 inch gun, get rid of all the light anti aircraft. drop a medium anti aircraft director, get rid of H and I mounts. It'd be nice to get a light anti-aircraft gun, but I don't think I'm going to manage it. And um, with that, I actually think we have a pretty good design. So now I just got to redesign the whole superstructure on these things. It will be a little expensive to rebuild these things, but this will finally mean that my entire carrier fleet is, for once, going to be modernized. Okay, let's get rid of the... Deck platforms on back. I don't need the arresting gear. I'll leave the elevators in for the moment. Um, some of these boats, these two, I think I automatically remove. I'll probably actually remove all three. Airplane wise, I need to remove all of them. In terms of uh, that one, that one stays. Uh, I'm going to remove the two catapults because I'm going to swap those to uh, jet based catapults. We do have the two elevators, so I will consider what to do with them. SX class rebuild. I'm going to look that up on Google real quickly just to uh, get an idea of what they did with the elevators. Um, okay, I did find an image, but that's Oriskany, and I know Oriskany was completed pretty late for the SX class.
Um, yeah, so it seems like they still keep the forward elevator, but don't really keep the aft elevators. So I think this elevator... Actually, here's what I'm going to... I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove the elevators. I might put one back in. Structure 5 goes away. Structure 4 is that. Structure 3 is that. So, um... No. Okay. Yeah, I think I get rid of structure 3 here and build off of structure 4. But I'm going to change the color of structure 4 to, like, here-ish. So we get a nice gray color. Um... Eight. You know, eight goes up probably about there. Um, seven. I'll move seven slightly back. We'll move the locations of those guns later on. Uh. Oh. Mm. Okay. I'm actually going to drag this out more. Um. I'm actually going to move this guy out this way. a little bit more deck space um, and now I'm gonna start moving these guns so asymmetric turret positions so you guys are now going back here you guys are now gonna go here Elevator wise, is a good, good question right now. Um, I want to do one forward at all or not? I'm looking at pictures of SX class. Like I'm probably probably an elevator there. That's questionable, I think. I'm going to move this point forward. <coughs> ah, sorry. Just gazoon tight. <laughs> um, actually, let me... In regards to this, let me move this out or back a little bit like this. Actually, you know what? No, this should probably be going like all the way back. Although if I'm doing that, I think this does get decreased somewhat. Yeah, 
Yeah, okay. There we go. Um... Okay, right, where would a SAM launcher on a carrier be? Okay. Okay, it doesn't actually let me position the visual for it. Okay, so, um... Hmm. How do I show that this carrier has a SAM launcher on it? Is now actually a very, very good question. I think the rest of these are all in place. I'll probably mess with this portion here. Oh, that can go there. That's my thought. Let's put in a nice, um... Like a... That's a little small. We'll add in some circles in a bit. Um, okay. So, five can be some of the other superstructure. Three will also now be structure... I think one, I'm actually going to... I want to go with that? No. I want to go with that. All right. Okay, so the zero point on one occurs there. Let me do a line on four. Um, okay, so zero point, I'll start it there. I'm going to bring that down to here. So you are going to kind of encompass this section. You are going to apply these guys. X goes there. How about I do there, nine, uh, eight, whoa. How about eight goes there, nine, there. Mm. Goes there. Uh, it's very difficult to get one right here now. Down to this. Okay. I'll just do this, and then we'll come back to uh, fixing that later. So those portions can remain the same. Hey, how about how about how about instead of that? Okay, I'm going to bring this one back down. Um, actually, no, I think it went this way. So we do this. It'll look better. That down there. Uh, maybe a little bit more out to the side. I'm going to have an extra superstructure line to work with after this. And then here is where I can actually kind of do some of what I was wanting to do here. We'll bring 18 down. 19. 20 will be there. Um, so normally this would just lean across. Um, 
about, how about, mm, no, you're going to have something there. 1, 22, 23. Do 21 there. Do No, hold on. One there. Ah, uh, down here. A three. Probably there. Okay, okay, not awful, not awful. Um. Yeah, I think I think that's serviceable. Or uh, structure one. Just uh, trying to look at other stuff I can do. We'll have to put structure three on there. I'll probably cover for some of the deficiencies with structure three. Let me actually add in the elevator. I think these are. I want to add in some of the elevators I made. As well as probably one of the white arrows, which is. Um, I'll add that in there. The white landing arrow. Let me, let me yeah, let me just add some stuff in to just kind of get this working a little better. Hold on, I have a really good idea. How big are these? The anchor chains. I was wondering if I could use the anchor chains as, um, like, flight deck markings. Straight thick. I might not be terrible for, like, additional catapult support. But then that's two additional de details per catapult, and I don't really want that. Okay, I think 180 foot jet. Um, because you know these are going to be a little bit smaller of aircraft carriers. I do want like a larger circle, maybe like an 18 footer. And I'll probably rebuild the mast. Okay, so we have that in, uh, what does an early surface air missile launcher look like? Let me look that up. Um, surface air missile launcher aircraft carrier. So, current generation... You typically have multiple tubes. It looks like, um, well, like eight, sixteen tubes, uh, in eight, maybe not sixteen tubes, like eight tubes, maybe four, depending on it, in, um, boxes. Older versions, uh, you do have kind of these twin armed launchers. But this isn't a twin arm launcher, this would be like a single arm launcher. Um, hmm. I'm looking for a good reference image right now to, uh, you know, to make sure that whatever object I add is, uh, correct. And I want maybe early. Okay. So, I'm trying to figure out when were the uh, first developments. SA-2 is Soviet, so that's probably all the Soviet stuff. You know, on Russian stuff, which I'm not sure how many ships that would be put on. Uh, 
second. Trying to figure out when. Okay, get the Lark. The U.S. Navy develops the Lark in response to the Kamikaze threat. Um, it gets canceled. The Rim Two Terrier, although those are twin arm launchers. Which I think we're looking at a single arm launcher here. It wasn't really a missile decal. Um, depth charge racks. Sure, that'll be the missile launcher. Um,. Okay, so structure two, let me adjust you oh. there and go there. Yep, yep. Um, this one doesn't extend out for far enough anymore. So let's change that. Oh, hold on. Asymmetric. I'm going to do that. Uh, let's bring it out over here. Mean. Now, 16's over there. Which, no, I think 16 can go there. 17. Oh, 18. That's all over there. How about this? So I will do that. 18 can go in. 19 back out. 20 up there. Then 21 over there. Okay, cool. Then layer 3. Actually, no. I can just start defining layer 3 right now, right? Cancel that. I don't like where that initial point is, so we'll do this, that, um, Uh, we'll go out a bit farther. How about I go here? I'll do a little and uh, out. Uh, go here. I could do that. Then I'll just shift this point down. Okay. There we go. Ah, some actual design on the Penleve class. 
Um, although I do need to start working with uh, structure 5 here. Um, maybe I'll just put that on a line red. Eh. I'll leave it there. Okay, so. You to go down there. Actually, go there. Cross there. Do this. Back. Go. All the way down. Over to the side, up there, what? up there, there, oh, I have so many points, okay, 11, or 11, 12, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay. So, 17, 18, Ooh. Oh, hold on. I screwed up. I screwed up. Okay. So. Final point should probably be there. Point before that should be there. So there. Now you go there. Okay. A very rough approximation. Okay. Point nine. Okay. That's point eight. Uh, I'm going to shift that over somewhat. I'll have point nine there and eleven I'll shift back. Hold on, did I? Yeah, I screwed this up a little bit. So I think that one. Well, let's do that. 12 there. 13 back there. 14 forward. Then 15 far back, yes. Okay, now to just like shift all these positions so they actually make some sense. 14, you can go up there, 13, go back there, 12, I'm going to move you out, 11, move you out slightly, that's fine, that guy's got to be moved back. I think even point zero has got to be moved down. Pretty 
pretty happy with how that section turned out. Um, this section, I think, has got to be split slightly over. I think this piece has got to be moved slightly over, too. Okay, it's it's far from perfect. Actually, if I was to have a criticism, it would be this, I think. Ooh, actually, hold on, hold on. What if... What if I do this? Really far forward, 11. Yeah, what if I do like this? Not perfect, but I'll take it. I'll take it. It does give me a decent landing stripe. Okay, um, let's add elevators. So, I do have these, so... Elevator white outline, would that be good up here? I think I'd have to angle the catapults. Okay, so dark gray, the angled left is this thing. I get the other one angled right. No, let me get the angled left. No, it won't work. And then Elevator, what about dark gray three pointed? So this is kind of what's like forward on the SX class. So that's usually between the two catapults. Uh, how about dark gray two? Big elevator. If too small, I could do that. I have apparently lost where it is. There we go. Great, too small. There we go. I think that works for about there. Elevator, dark gray, one. Dark gray, one small. Nope. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna copy the dark gray too small. To here, find the crane. Mirror the crane. Move the crane. Mirror the crane. Move that crane. So we get a crane above the other elevator. Um, I don't think I can justify an elevator in another position, unfortunately. So I want to get like a center bar. For this carrier, if at all possible. Which, um, is gonna be up in CV. We get the bar T squared, which I wanna see, that's a little bit too big. Okay, so do we have center line? Center line white, yes. Let's try this. Uh, that's probably about appropriate size. Set rest angle. Just move it 10 degrees, same as the uh, 
pistol, the other, or the arrow. There we go. Technically, could overlay the arrow on top if I really, really want to, um, which I think I'll do. Mirror the arrow. Move the older one. Mirror it again. Older one. There we go. Now I usually have a red bar. Red. It's darker, right? Not actually that aligned with the back section of this, so adjust this slightly. Mostly this section here. Just that further down, we largely get it. Uh, maybe I'll reposition the bar a little bit this way. Be quite center line, but I think that will look better. All right, then, and then, right, I do need to go down here. I need the, um, where is it? Not going to be that. There you go, CB red twin bar long. Set this here, roughly where the resting wires are going to be. I think I'm going to want maybe 80 foot of resting wires on her. It's been pretty typical for me. Okay, there we go. There we go. I don't think I'm going to need a crash barrier, so I probably do want to work on the superstructure a little bit. How many of these do I have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So right now I could fit four planes on. Um, okay, so let me look at this. So. I don't think I need that. I'm going to keep the mass tripod. Got that. Um, remove that. I will remove the tripod for now. I will remove that top circle. I'll consider removing that rectangle too, but I'm going to do an LB truck. Actually, that works really well. Move that. Yeah, I think that looks, works really well for uh, manipulating into the uh, rest of the superstructure. Need one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 now. I have a little bit more work on the superstructure to do. Okay, so let me get a, um antenna there. I'm way past it. Parabolic A, maybe? A 
let me get a couple, let me get a size comparison, like a large D. Okay, um, what about a parabolic C? Nope. I think I actually want the parabolic B, probably. Be a large, yep, there you go, that, that's a good antenna. Although, we'll get a smaller version of it. A 15 foot. Remove the A. Um, okay, so now we're at 17 compo or 17 components. Uh, the field too small. What if I do anchor chains? Like angled thin. Oh, that's way bigger than I thought they'd be. Angled wide, maybe? You know, those could work as like cranes. You know what? Hold on. Look at this. I'm not going to do that, but that is a really, really good idea. Okay, how about we do thick, hollow, the smallest size we can get. How, what does that give me? Not really what I'm looking for, but okay. knowing some of the rangefinder stuff, the base looks pretty good. Yeah, yeah, okay. Actually, I could do a mast. Um, it actually turns out that the helicopters look pretty good under this. So let's. How about I set the rest angle to that, so we kind of have the tail area sticking forward. I hide it about there, and then I mirror that, remove that, mirror that back over. And then on top of that... What about like a... No. No, I was thinking about that. Depth Charger X probably too small looking at it now. Um... I don't think Captain's Walk is a great idea. Breakwater probably not. Or, um, you know, a radar of some description. I don't think either of these are great. I don't want the planes. No, not prop guard. Um... Well, what did I have? I had a different one here, right? That great rectangular small. Okay, that's just a miniaturized version of the rectangular deck crate. What about a checkerboard? This, nope. BB bar. Broken safety line black, that's way too big. Hmm. I mean, you do have the in regular antennas, so I could just put another one up there. I kind of don't want to do that. I 
I think I gotta go for the depth charge rack. Probably the depth charge rack solid again. The rest angle to 90. That position about there. And then I think I do need like bigger mass than that. There, I think I do need one mast over here. All right, so how many... Uh, okay, let me just start adding the planes. So NN, I want... Where is it? Air, medium plane. To set it on this uh, aft area. I think circle wise, wait, like 23 or 25 foot looks good. And then I'll just go until I'm out of planes. So I could do a crusader, but I don't think I will. Um, probably like super mystere. On the catapult. Um, get in Oregon. Or Oregon. Okay, yep, that's all I can have. So I guess that will go there. All right. Finally, Penleve is being rebuilt. And, for once, we're going to have ships with surface-to-air missiles on them, which does also mean that I have to update a lot of my older, well, destroyers to um, be able to adequately protect my carriers. It's a fairly good time for this to come along, as uh, some of the dedicated anti-air destroyers can be upgraded with that. I'm probably also going to have to refit some of the battleships with this, too. Um, battleships will definitely need that uh, surface air missile launcher. But, uh, you know... For now, gotta get the pen levees up to, you know, up to standard. And, uh, gotta provide the first couple missile launchers in the fleet. To, uh, be able to knock some aircraft out of the sky. Okay, there we go. Give me a moment. Yes. This is gonna use up all my money. And there we go! Penleve and Rochambeau are finally gonna be rebuilt. They will now have a surface air missile. So gonna be lighter on the carrier side, but... That'll be, that'll be good. It'll be good to have those in service. Mistral is close to commissioning too, so I'll get some money back. I'll get some money back with uh, Mistral's commissioning, and hopefully I can invest that into refitting more of the uh, older ships. Although I do want to try to get helipads. Real data link. Chat dispensers. New Russian medium bomb. Tensions have been reduced. Okay. Please let me keep some of this naval budget. Uh, who has no commander assigned? Fourth Coastal. You can get a random captain to frigate. Ships in service. You're all fine. Actually, I'm curious in the if we wind up losing any um. We got it. Okay, no, it was just him. Just a guy in charge of a coastal destroyer division leaving the service. Uh, what did... Oh, nothing happened. They have force location um, on my missile torpedoes. Oh, God. Um... It was Russia sh Russian ship uh, research in shipboard aircraft operation has been helped by leaks from our industry. Well, that's Russia. I don't really care.
Okay, so somebody retired. Or got promoted. Victor Hugo's commander, which we have above averages now. Great fire enthusiast, speed enthusiast. Victor Hugo is going to need, like, a full rebuild here soon. But, you know, I'm still waiting on helipads. Oh, France is starting to slow down. That's not good. We still cannot get helipads. Come on. Um, I'll take the budget increase. Radar guided SSM. Okay, we've developed an improved model of our fighter. Beetle bomber is ready for operational service. A pro-German coup has taken place in the Baltic states. That's concerning. Hopefully tensions will decline because of recent war. Again, I'm still kind of expecting that. But it does mean that I have more money. Which means I think it is finally going to be, you know, time. I actually think a smart decision right now is to Take a Tempete class, or Tempeta class destroyer, or maybe not even a destroyer. I don't know if I want a destroyer or a corvette in this regard. Um, yeah, I'll go with some corvettes. So I'm going to remove the minesweeping gear, but get the enhanced sonar system. Get the extra depth charge thrower. 900 tonner. Surface air missile launcher is probably too much. Go with the narrow belt just to kind of help things out. Not install your best radar. Fine, now it can. More mines. No point in getting missile launchers. Uh, maybe four inch auto loaders instead. Oh, hold on. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, let's just start building some of those as a. Uh... ND submarine warfare craft. You know, Rando. We had a ship lose a commander too. Which one? No, no, it's another division. Okay. Slightly more important for you to get a good one, but there aren't really any available, so we'll just get a Rando. Modern submarines are harder to detect. Yep. It's true, that's why I'm trying to build new ones. Um, regional war in the Balkans. Sell. Oh god, we are so gonna piss off Germany so much. Okay, but anyway, that is eight Corvettes under construction now. Um, screw it, let's get four more. Just because I need anti-submarine, or I need trade protection, or modern uh, trade protection anti-submarine warfare vessels. Um, you know, modernized ones with uh, better sonar. But anyway, uh, I think that'll do it for this episode. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Mistral's only four months away from completion. And uh, we finally have the rebuild going on Pinleve and uh, Roshimbo. And they're actually going to have a decent number of aircraft, uh, especially compared to the older uh, Jafra class. Um, and, you know, surface air missiles. 
So, hooray! Uh, links to my Discord and a community Discord will be down below if you want to join either of those. Uh, you can join my Discord for notifications when these videos go live, and you can join that no or that uh, community Discord for, um, well, you know, talking about Rule the Waves 3, because it's a Rule the Waves 3 community Discord. It's officially recognized, but not actually official. And with all that being said, thank you, Matrix, Slytherin, and Able Warface, for the free copy. I will see you all next time. Bye!